5904. I think it's Bella Grove. Somewhat busy street. This house to the left here looks real chopped up and awkward and it looks to be split into apartment units and the people there are kind of trashy. Neighbor to the right, not as bad, not beautiful. The lady told me that apparently the piece of property goes further than where you see this fence right here. It goes over to these rocks, he said. So it could extend it a little bit more. Um, it really doesn't have a yard at all. I'm walking on this side of the fence, and this would be the neighbor's backyard, I guess. Here. And I guess our house is, I think the property line's right along our house. And it has no backyard either. That's how much space in between the house and the neighbor's backyard. Which behind us are our well-kept houses. This is the neighbor, you see a bunch of spray paint on the fence mattress in the backyard. I believe this was the access to the basement once. Now they got it closed off and a little bit a little window on the inside. Right here it looks like maybe there was an addition. This was added on at some point where you see that space. Um, Inside the floors are very on level where the addition is and it looks kind of sketchy. <laughs> What's up, puppy? Oh, I meant to show you the roof from that side. Um, the siding is in pretty good shape. Small repairs. I don't know if you can see the roof like that. It's an aluminum roof. Not regular shingles. Better look at the roof. Green, like and the front porch roof is pretty beat up. Multiple layers of shingles. Old. Actually, I see some waviness in the chin, uh, siding over here. little side porch and you see there's barely any room between the house and this neighbor's yard. Side porch goes to the kitchen and back behind the house again where there's barely any space, no yard really. Front porch needs a little bit of work. Fence needs work. Go through the front door. This is the living area. And Pasadena. It's all paneling. Really?
Another dining area. There's paneling in here as well. Some missing on the ceiling. Don't notice any water damage on the ceiling though. Two bedrooms off to the side here. Straight back is the kitchen, which is a very small feeling and cramped. And that's where I start to notice the uneven floors is in the kitchen. None of the cabinets match. They're all different. Washer and dryers in here as well. Stucco walls and uh, textured ceilings. And off the back of the kitchen, there's a bedroom and a full bath, which is still very unlevel floors. Needs all new fixtures, needs tile, and to fix the level issues. And this is the biggest of the three bedrooms. Small closet. And some of the windows are mismatched. The other two bedrooms are up here off of the dining area. Start with the smaller of the two. No clue why that's like that. Needs trim, doors, small closet. The other bedroom. This one's pretty good size. Paint on the ceilings. Um, the walls are drywall. Here's one of the. This one's window is obviously broken. Electric panels in here. It's got a extension cord or wire coming out the bottom. 100 amp panel. Looks pretty new. Can't see the wiring though. Last is the crawl space, which is off the back here. Beds to the left here. And straight back to the right is the bathroom. And this door swings open. And there's a ladder down to underneath of the house. Copper plumbing looks decent. Looks kind of slop sloppily done. Sloppy. But it is all copper. Water heater isn't rusted or anything. It's electric baseboard heat and no AC. So there's no furnace down here. And it's just a small area down here. It goes further up, but as you can see, there's that's like a crawl space. This is like a basement. This is where I think you used to be able to exit the basement. Now they got it sketchily cinder blocked with a small window. And just I noticed some foundation issues here. Certain parts pop out. And down here in the part that's dug out, it's 
seven foot two. There's all kinds of uh, where the floor level issues are on this side. There's all kinds of different support beams. Like notice that that's added. All these are. I don't think they were here. That's definitely added with a jack in it. That there, you can see that's added. So lots of uh, definite structure issues. Floor down here is very unlevel. And then a bunch of dirt back there. Which I see more supports like I saw over on this side. This right here looks like it's added in. These cinder blocks look like they're added. And then this looks like the original cinder block. But if you notice, it looks like it's leaning to the left. Right there, it like bends over that way. And it looks like there's a partially done sump pump down here, not finished. Some spots you see newer wood. Looks like termite damage and rotting in some of the older wood back here. And then you notice this newer wood and back to the older wood.